Yeah, yeah, spread the word. Massive and crew, it's the bad man MC Zulu. Now on Facebook Live, I pose the question. How can we get rid of all this hatred? This is the audiobook version of the resulting blog that I wrote. Three damn good ways to get rid of hatred. The current climate festering between people has seen them divided on the basis of race, gender, sexuality, etc. We're constantly at one another's throats. The situation is being exacerbated for political expedience and financial gain. So it begs the question, what can we do to stop the hatred? One of the ideas that immediately came to mind is that we need to communicate. It needs to happen using a medium that naturally drops our defenses. This speaks to the importance of the arts, particularly music and comedy. Music, even without lyrics, can change one's mindset, while comedians can get you to laugh at yourself. Both art forms can go a long way towards healing divides. This is the revolution of the mind that I always reference. James Brown gets the credit for that phrase. If we learn to share, it's another way to bring people together. Karma dictates that when you give, you also receive. It's possible to do one without the other, but it throws things off balance. Whatever it is that you're hoarding is at risk of being taken outright by those who do not have. Taoism teaches us, if you amass a huge store of gold, no one can protect it. The need for defense creates the us versus them dynamic all over again. But much of this can be alleviated simply by developing a sharing mindset. Am I saying don't get rich? Not at all. Just look for opportunities to share and help others. The third idea that occurs to me is that people are often encouraged to develop their lack of empathy. You're being praised for not caring. Society places more emphasis on material ownership and less on compassion. People have a twisted view of empathy, making it conform to man-made borderlines or ignorant notions of racial superiority. These are artificial constructs. Empathy is universal. Now, as valid as these ideas may be, they're not easy. Hatred is easy because you can set it and forget it. Love requires constant self-evaluation. There are ideals you yourself must live up to. I just gave three important ones. I'd be happy to know what you think. Feel free to subscribe or leave a comment below. I am the Badman MC Zulu, ladies and gentlemen. I combine electro reggae and social commentary. The reason I do it is because I know if we have these conversations, ultimately it's gonna bring us together. For more information about what I'm doing, and for music that's going to let you know that you can purge your life of hatred. Log on to mczulu.com. Go there and get your mind right.